what is the slope of any line perpendicular to the line 4 equals negative 6x minus 2y? That's what we're asked here. And what you have to realize is we're talking about two things. One thing that we're talking about is this line right here. 4 equals negative 6x minus 2y. That's one thing. And then the other thing we're talking about is this concept of perpendicularity. What, is, what does it mean to be perpendicular to a line? Uh, well, we'll get to that in a second. Let's talk about this line uh, here that we're given an equation for. If you have 4 equals negative 6x minus 2y, we don't normally think about lines this way. We normally have y on the left, and we have everything else on the right. So I'm going to add 2y to each side, and then I'm going to subtract 4 from each side, and then I'm going to divide each side by 2. So I get a nice y equals equation. So there's my equation. And we can figure out the slope of it by remembering slope is given as y equals mx plus b, right? That's slope, m. So the slope of this line is negative 3. Now, when we talk about a line perpendicular to this one, let's, let's remind ourselves of two concepts. Parallel means equal slope. Okay, if two lines are parallel, then that means they have the same slope as each other. But perpendicular means something very different. Okay, let's, let's draw a graph here, and hopefully that will clear it up a little bit. Let's say I have my uh, xy graph, and I've got a line, and you can see it's a very steep line right here. And I want to know what's the slope of a line perpendicular to it. Well, the slope of a line perpendicular will look like this, okay? Uh, and that's a right angle formed between them because they're perpendicular. And whereas one line was positive slope, okay, that's going to be this one, positive slope. The other line is going to be negative slope. So you can see there's a sign change uh, between these two lines. And the other thing is that where one line was fairly steep, this guy right here, the other line is fairly shallow. It's not really that steep. So use that picture to remind yourself of this, um, uh, this equality right here, not equality, of this statement. When you have perpendicular lines, that is a negative reciprocal. Negative reciprocal. In other words, we're going to add a negative sign, and we're going to flip it upside down. So, slope of negative 3. What's the negative reciprocal of negative 3? Well, uh, we flip it upside down, we turn it into one-third, and we take away ne the negative sign and turn it into a positive sign. So the perpendicular line is going to have a slope of one-third, not negative 3. It's the perpendicular line because it's a negative reciprocal.